it's Trisha Morris here from Club Scrap and check out these adorable little coin envelopes. They're made with Club Scrap's Take Wing collection and they're pretty easy to make. So how about we get started? The first thing you'll need to do is uh, grab a paper trimmer and um, a 12 by 12 inch piece of paper and trim it at six inches and then trim horizontally that six by 12 at six inches. And what this will give you will be four pieces of six by six inch papers from one 12 by 12. So you can make four coin size envelopes out of one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Next, take your envelope punch board and place the paper into the board at the two and five eighths inch mark. And you can punch there and also score along the ridge at that location, rotate, Realign your score line with the arrow on the punch board this time, punch and score, and continue to rotate doing the same alignment scoring trick until the envelope has been prepared. So this assumes you know a little bit about how to use the punch board. And there's no need to round the outside corners of the piece because we'll be modifying this to make the, uh, the coin envelope style. Next, take a club scrap grid ruler and measure out from the score line on the short edge of the envelope about a quarter, one and a quarter inches, and then score. And fold along the score line to create a small tab. And then go around to the other short flap of the envelope, measure out one and a quarter inches from the score line with the grid ruler, score, and then fold in on the flap. And that's going to help turn our flaps into a more traditional coin envelope style. Then take that long flap, fold it in, and score along, or burnish along the score line. And notice that there is a excess flap there that we need to deal with. Let's just see where those flaps intersect right in the middle where that V is formed. Place your grid ruler along the apex of that V, and then score along that intersection with your bone folder and tuck in that remaining little pointy flap. Now when I close the envelope, it does actually look like a traditional coin envelope style. The next thing you'll need to do is just take a fine tipped marker and we're going to, or pencil, whatever you have on hand, and mark the spot where we want our buttons to land, which will be right on the fold that we've made and then along the top flap there. Open that up and grab a cork board or some other type of uh, flexible surface. I'm just using a push pin here to pierce a hole into those two marked locations. Next, take a small circle punch and just punch two white circles. This paper is also from the Take Wing Kit. And um, take that same piercing tool or push pin and create a small hole in the center of those circles. Insert a mini brad right into that pre-pierced hole. And then add the brad to the pierced hole on the top flap of the envelope. You want to make sure that the prongs of your brad um, extend along this parallel with the score line so that they don't interfere with the closing of that little pointy flap. And then go ahead and insert the other punched um, hole and brad set into the side flap there. And what's nice about these flaps actually is that they cover the back of the brad. So take your favorite adhesive and just tack down the three flaps that you created earlier. And then finally, just take that long unaltered flap and uh, kind of just see where your short flap is going to land and tack it down in place. Then bring up your bottom flap. Always kind of look to where the flap is going to make contact and you don't want to um, add any adhesive to areas where you'll be trying to slide an enclosure into the envelope. Keep that free of adhesive. And then finishing it out at the top, just take some Baker's twine. This was actually a, a, a fiber that was included right in the embellishment pack for the Take Wing um, scrapbook collection. So if you are a Club Scrap member and have this kit, the um, twine was included right in your collection, which I think is kind of great for this particular project. So you'll just loop around the top and then um, do your little figure eight around the tabs. Once you've done that, trim off the ends and you have just finished your little coin envelope. Have fun making one of your own. Mm -hmm.